Hi there. I'm going to talk really briefly about this product we got in. It's called Light Waves. It's by Clarity. It's a super bright LED artist panel light and what it does is illuminate your work surface uh, from the back. So it works exceedingly well uh, for parchment. Um, we took a, I took a, a parchment class uh, last week and this this was our practice, my practice sheet and as you can see um, I left that class a little discouraged. Um, the <laughs> I found the tracing was challenging. You know, tracing a paper pattern, um, some of the pinpoints on finding your where you need to be poking out and stuff again was challenging. Uh, so I, I certainly, while I love parchment craft, I love the whole look of it. Um, it I did leave there thinking that was something that might not be part of my life anytime in the near future. And then we got, like I said, this light panel, uh, this light box in and uh, did a little a little playing around with it. Uh, these are the groovy panels. Uh, we have the Disney dies in. So when I saw this one, I got a little bit inspired. I grabbed the light box and I started playing with it. And what is fabulous about this is that, A, um, you know, the pattern is um, easy, certainly easy to see. It's, it's etched out of the back, so you don't have to worry about your tracing aspect of it. Your, your um, ball tool is going to slip into that hole and trace it out really nicely uh, and really uh, with the nice solid lines, as, as solid as the, the, the um, pattern is. So this will allow you to get your nice, concise um, pattern etched out of it, and then you can start it with the fun stuff, which is the um, coloring and embossing. Um, so took my card home, my very first, my absolute very first uh, parchment card, finished tracing it out. Um, I'm going to show you that right now. Um, like I said, it was inspired by the Disney dies that we have. So here is the card that I made. Um, happy with it. Uh, you know, like I said, this is my absolute very, very first um, parchment craft uh, attempt. Uh, instead of doing any of the fancy cutting out of it, I, I actually did just, um, there's a, I'll show you the book that we got in, and I did just, I'm just trying to show that up a little bit better, do edging for that instead of the fancy cutting, uh, which I, I think did finish it off quite nicely. I don't know what's going to be better showing that off, but uh, I didn't want to. I got so far into this with the tracing that I did, and I did some little embossing on the pathway and coloring it in and doing a little bit of the um, shading in the clouds. Well, there you can see my edging better there. So I didn't, uh, I didn't want to go into an area that was um, unfamiliar with me and, and start um, doing some snipping and have myself uh, not do a good job of it and then have to scrap my project. But what for me again was um, really, I hate to use the word game changer, but <laughs> what it really is, is this book that we got in as well. Um, this is called uh, Parchment Perforating Guide. And so in this book, this just came in as well with the light box. In this one, it has. Um, these grid patterns and this is the one that I used so it's just a poking and an etching uh, embossing on that and I found that that finished it off quite nicely like I said for my very first attempt I wasn't ready to get doing the snipping and the twisting of the snippers and stuff so this book uh, it shows you what you, the, you know the grid pattern that you need this is the uh, um, uh, diagonal border grid number one and then it shows you the different um, patterns that you can do. So all through this book that's uh, illustrated by uh, Tina Cox, who is a brilliant uh, parchment crafter, is the image of the card and then and then on the other side it'll have uh, what you need to get the job done and, and a brief uh, little uh, instruction instructions about again how to do the card. So something that I will definitely be taking on because this is a way to practice and practice makes perfect in this particular craft. So again another um, uh, pattern examples using that same pattern grid and what they do is they highlight the grid pattern that you're using so the, the first ones were number one this is number two and so what they do then is highlight the, the pattern piece strip that you're going to be doing and these are the ones that you can do with it so that's how I ended up finishing off my um, panel but again like I said I'm going to be doing some of these for sure out of this because I find them certainly um, a challenge but not certainly without uh, without possibility for, for me at my level of uh, parchment crafting. Uh, I think they're absolutely delightful and, and a, a good challenge. So we had, like I said, we had the Disney, Disney dies come in, so I thought I would do a once upon a time, and what I'm going to do, I'll edge that off with uh, some different cardstock, but I'm just going to put Cinderella on there. So then I've got uh, Cinderella, 
and uh, Parchment Craft Castle in the background. And like I said, we'll finish that off with some uh, framing, framing it out. But I just thought that would be a delightful little card for us, a little princess, um, you know, as a birthday card or something like that. But that's my first attempt at parchment crafting. I, like I said, it, it was something that I didn't think I was going to be able to do until we started playing with the light box and the, the groovy tools and that um, that perforating guide again uh, was extremely helpful to me, to me. So you will be seeing me again and I will be certainly doing some more uh, parchment crafting. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.